Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 14th, 2020. Yesterday turned out to be quite an interesting day. If you remember in yesterday's report, I mentioned the possibility of a pop and drop, but boy, I would not have envisioned how it occurred. Um, creating kind of a nasty reversal um, by the end of the day. So what does that mean for the setup for this morning? Well, how about we buckle up, let's settle in, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have kind of an interesting dilemma playing out here in the market. First off, we had a new record highs made in uh, the NASDAQ yesterday before it started to reverse. What was interesting is that the NASDAQ started to reverse before anything else. And really, I think that's because of an overextended uh, move in um, that index. But let's take a look at the technicals here and see if we can kind of figure out what comes next. So when we look at the diamonds, we left behind this shooting star type pattern, which is a topping bearish pattern. But on the good news side of it is that it held up we actually turned in a 22 cent profit or increase yesterday in the index so it didn't fully reverse here in the diamonds they managed to hold that up what's unfortunate however is that it did fail back below its 200 day moving average we've been challenged by that 200 day moving average with multiple attempts and now here we are again with another failure However, this morning, even though we have Asian markets down overnight and European markets currently trading lower, the futures, the pre-market futures are in full-on pump-it-up mode again. Um, seems like every day that is the case. Just pre-market, we just start pumping, pumping, pumping from the institutions, trying to attract additional money into the market. Well, this morning we have, we kick off third quarter earnings and JP Morgan has already reported. We'll look at that in just a second. And what we're looking at is we're looking at a market in the Dow trying to pop back up here once again to challenge that 200 day moving average as resistance. Whether or not they can push on through, I can't tell you. Let's take a look overall. If I just try to remove everything in here and just look at the chart itself, if I draw a trend line here, we are still holding within that trend and we're still holding up quite well. As you can see, we're still challenged by price resistance in the chart and we still have that little break of this downtrend that's trying to hold. However, if we sink beyond that, could be a little bit of a problem. So we have kind of a back and forth here in the diamonds and really um, a look at that anything is possible. Anything is possible and likely price action is going to be challenging because um, such an elevated VIX that we have right now. So let's take a look. Let's keep, continue on and take a look. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY fared considerably worse yesterday putting in a ugly dark cloud cover on that chart and even though it managed to breach we broke through into that island reversal yesterday and we gave the appearance that we were even going to try and stretch up here and break out of all-time highs in the market that is a pretty nasty rejection candle overall now this morning we are trying to gap up just a little bit this morning as you can see we're trying to gap just slightly higher but we will still be challenged by this island reversal resistance that was rejected yesterday that could place be a little bit of a problem for the market we'll have to wait and see what is interesting as well is that the 50 day has crossed up over the 200 days so we've created a nice little level of price support in here with price and and moving average support in that area so even if we do pull back it may not be catastrophic at all so watch that closely i would not rule out the possibility that we could come close to seeing that 50-day moving average again um 
with this these kind of bearish candle patterns i wouldn't rule out that possibility but i'm not going to um, suggest that's likely just simply because we have earnings and earnings can create some very weird price action so just be careful be focused um, and just realize that anything is possible in the market let's take a look at the nasdaq now nasdaq was the first index to really turn around and show some bearishness yesterday some selling it ended up leaving behind a bearish engulfing pattern here on the day um, we still have um, tremendous trend okay in the nasdaq but that also says that we could pull all the way back into here to retest some support levels because of that extension watch that closely now this morning we're trying to get a bullish pop back up but i gotta tell you with some of those uh, major stocks showing reversal in the nasdaq that could be a problem um we we now have as of yesterday five companies in the s p 500 now make up 25 percent of the s p 500 in weight that means that we only need to move five companies to really affect um, the markets however when we take a look at some of those companies facebook bearish engulfing candle uh, google uh, dark cloud cover candle Microsoft, bearish um, engulfing candle, Apple, um, shooting star top. So we're starting to see lots of, um, and then Amazon, bearish engulfing candle, starting to see a little bit of stress here from the big rally that these stocks have enjoyed. And it may be difficult for the market to rally if they cannot continue to push these charts higher. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is, um, well, actually showed more strength yesterday than I would have expected and held up a little bit better than I would have expected with the rest of the selling going on in the market. So at the end of the day, we left behind a piercing pattern um, on this candle it wasn't quite a uh, bearish engulfing and you can see that we're still holding this slight upside trend we're holding above our 50-day moving average we also have this downtrend in play and um, another rejection of the 200-day moving average so that makes three um, whether the weight of the market can, can uh, the bears have enough energy to push on down I don't know and this morning you can see we're moving up here um, with a gap up open on um, IWM so um, interesting dilemma here in these charts let's take a look at the VIX the VIX is where we're going to have a little bit of challenge, I think, because of the high implied volatility, the high volatility of the market, implied volatility for option traders. And you can see we closed the day up here at 32 handles. Now I expect with this gap up open that we're going to experience a pullback. We may drop back below that 50 day moving average, but certainly a challenging environment. And it's something that's not normally associated with new record highs in the market. When we have new record highs in the market, we typically have the VIX showing little to no fear all the way down in here. Well, now we have a very elevated fear level in the market as we're hitting new record highs, a very interesting situation. And one that I gotta say, I, I cannot say that I have seen before um, in the market. So we broke just slightly above that downtrend. It, I suspect that pullback here will this morning we'll break that back down but we're going to have to stay pretty focused on this chart notice that how many times we have held that 200 day moving average um, here in that chart if we hold a higher low in here that possibility of that fear spike coming in um, could occur at any time so stay focused and stay flexible it could move pretty quickly if fear starts to rise here in the market let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is just kind of confused like the rest of us i think in the market yesterday at the open we were all the way up here in the bearish reversal zone as the day progressed 
T2122 pulled back. And the reason it pulled back is because we only had a very few select companies pushing the indexes up. When they started to turn, um, everything turned in T2122 and we dropped back below the 50% area here in the chart. Now this morning, I suspect we're gonna bounce back up in here with this gap up open. Um, which leaves us kind of in the middle, um, which tells us really anything is possible. Uh, bulls and bears kind of equal weighted in here right now and anything is possible. So we're gonna have to stay focused. We're gonna have to stay flexible um, for any possibility um, today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Oh, by the way, let, let's do this um, T2101. I thought this was really interesting yesterday as well. If we take a look at T2101, and I'm just going to go to a standard candlestick chart. Yesterday when the market was rallying, T2101, the absolute breadth, was collapsing. As a matter of fact, it gave up lows here in the chart. We were collapsing, and that was a real signal of a problem in the market that just a select few companies were pushing the indexes up while the remainder were going down. What was interesting is as we sold off, the breadth of the market increased rapidly and rallied with that showing some strength in those bears. So confusion here as well, and that reason to be very careful and cautious and thoughtful about the trades that you take. Be careful rushing into this market. We could experience some nasty whipsaws back and forth depending on how earnings come out and news events. So be really on top of it. Stay very, very focused. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we have a little bit that we want to be focused on um, today. Um, at 8.30 a.m. this morning, we've got the CPI report. The CPI um, certainly has that potential to move the market. I haven't even looked at consensus here. It looks like the consensus is looking for about a 0.5, which would be much, much better than the prior of a negative one. If it comes in anywhere close to that, it may turn out to be kind of a non-event um, as compared to earnings reports. So watch that close. That's our only major thing today. Keep in mind, we also have a couple of Fed speakers and James Bullard seems to be one of those media darlings that when he talks people um, the media tends to um, um, focus on what he says so keep an eye on that at 2 30 today depending on um, what he has to say about the about uh, the actions of the FOMC it might be interesting so let's take a look at our earnings calendar today now our earnings calendar we don't have that many companies reporting earnings but we have some big ones as companies begin to fess up for their third quarter results um, let's take a look at some of those notables uh, today we have uh, JP Morgan JP Morgan has already reported. They reported a better than expected um, uh, move because of their trading, their quarterly trading, but they took a massive write down. So as you can see, we're looking right now to open about where we closed yesterday. So no big shakes there so far on JP Morgan um, in that chart. We also have AMX, AMX reporting. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice the bid-ask spread is really, really wide here. Um, even the market makers just don't know what to think about um, some of these earnings reports. There's no guidance and um, a little bit of a concern um, as we approach. So real wide bid-ask spreads. Uh, Citibank will be reporting today. It looks like right now Citibank is looking to open about where it closed yesterday. Um, we have Delta Airlines reporting this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. It's indicating just slightly lower here this morning. Fast and all, this one might be interesting because we've had such a surge in um, home buying and home building. Uh, Fastenal is a company that provides a lot of the fasteners, nails and things like that to build homes. Could be a bullish 
uh, potential here for Fastenal, you can see they're indicating just a little bit higher this morning after that kind of ugly reversal candle yesterday. And last but not least, uh, WFC is reporting this morning and it is indicating just slightly lower than where it um, it's high yesterday so we'll want to keep an eye on that um, as these banks begin to progress whether they're going to provide enough energy to move the micro markets higher or not i can't tell you so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and guys if you feel that this video was helpful to you if you feel like it was worthy please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it helps us grow the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome, truly, truly awesome. And I really, really appreciate all the support and the kind words um, for these videos. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, guys, I just want to remind everyone that um, every time I show a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's meant merely as part of the education and things that I do with the right way options group and um, please note that anything is possible particularly in the volatility that we're seeing in the market right now anything is possible so do your due diligence um, in these trades and watch um, these markets very very closely because we could see a lot of price action and a lot of whipsaws um, over the next uh, few days so watch that carefully let's take a look at grubhub now grubhub i mentioned um, that it was setting up in a potential consolidation here nice little consolidation after breaking through some resistance and holding in there now yesterday it left behind a reversal uh, pattern big old bearish engulfing candle trying to break that support so a couple things we need to watch for here the way the market has been trading here lately this could bounce right back up and remain in this consolidation and still resume that uptrend however we'll want to keep an eye on that but we also want to keep an eye on the possibility that this actually breaks that support rallies back to resistance and could set up a short trade so this could go either direction it's one that you want to keep a pretty close eye on and um well just focus carefully on that chart um, a lot of things could happen here let's take a look at starbucks Starbucks left behind a really ugly bearish engulfing candle yesterday. It is still trying to hold on to this support, but we have this little downtrend in play here in this chart. So Starbucks really to me is set up with that bearish engulfing candle for a potential short, but we have to be careful of this support. We could catch that bounce right off of that support. So watch that carefully. I think if we drift and break on down through here, we could have some problems here in Starbucks if those bulls can grab a hold of this and hold on to that support then we have that opportunity breaking that downtrend and we'll want to look for the next opportunity in that chart pretty interesting thing to be paying attention to um, as that bounces around in here um, as you guys know I've been um, holding on to uh, precious metals gold silver those kind of things interestingly enough we're just consolidating here and this morning I'm seeing gold just about to open where it closed yesterday GLD is one of those interesting charts to me right now because as we continue to print and we're expecting Congress to come back and print a whole bunch more money um, and um, stimulus spending, that possibility that gold can still go higher. So watch carefully here. I like this trend in the chart. I like the fact that we're consolidating right in here over toward that trend. We wanna watch for that next opportunity for that to break 
um, to the upside. So watch that carefully. Of course, it can break to the downside, but we want to watch um, because of the upside trend. I want to be watching for that upside move. Let's take a look at silver. Silver had a really nice spike up yesterday, gapping up and really trying to break some resistance levels in the chart. So we popped up, caught a little bit of selling by the end of the day. It, um, silver has kind of a um, it, it tracks more with the market because the industrial uses in silver and caught a little bit of pullback. But silver continuing to hold up in this nice upside trend. We'll want to watch that carefully and see if this can kind of consolidate over toward that trend and then still have some upside potential in the chart. Take a look at FCX. FCX has been in a unbelievable rally, um, um, really kind of extended yesterday shot up and pulled back again industrial uses in uh, copper but um, we'll want to watch this closely to see if this shooting star actually produces a downside move or if we hold in this little consolidation right here and still build the energy to move higher so watch FCX closely you can also look at Barrick Gold um, Barry Gold um, pulling back could find some support in here. Newmont Mining, um, um, AUG. There's several of those stocks out there that you might want to keep an eye on. And last but not least, um, we're running out of time here. I want to mention TLT. Kind of an interesting situation yesterday is we saw in the sell-off, just before they started to sell off, we saw a move toward bonds. Almost as if the institutions had some kind of clue that that was going to occur and we saw a rotation here into bonds. If you take a look here, we're holding a price support in uh, that trade. So we might want to watch this carefully. If bonds begin to pick up, it may be showing us a little bit of fear um, is is playing out here and traders moving towards safety so keep a close eye on that um, kind of an interesting situation seeing a rush into bonds particularly when the market's trying to make new record highs that just doesn't correlate to me very well um, really doesn't pass the smell test if you know what I mean so everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you all the best success in your trading we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone. Be safe. We'll see you then.